Hey members, this is Carl along with Mai Tai and I'm here for the April news. Welcome to the first Friday of April and this is news from the Small Biz Thoughts community. It's kind of hard to believe how many miles I've gone since the last time I made a video. So last month I was on my way to Atlanta, Georgia where I participated in the uh, Channel Pro SMB Forum, which is always spectacular. Then I went off to Atlanta, went to Robin Robin's big boot camp, hung out with my daughter for a couple of days, and then went all the way to Chicago and went to three days of meetings with the CompTIA Communities and Councils Forum. So pff, lots of work, but I have not been lazy. So there's a ton of new stuff in the community. If you go look at the what's new, and I always encourage you to check out the what's new category, you're gonna see there's just an amazing amount of stuff that we have put into the, uh, the community. The March class, which was on moving from break, fix to managed services, kind of doing what I call the, the managed services two-step, is now posted. So if you missed it and you're not in the community, you can't buy it, you can't download it, you can't do anything except join the community. And if you're in the community, it's recorded and you can see it for free. So it's a three hour class, a lot of really good questions. Basically, I walk you through creating a maintenance based system that gets your clients addicted to maintenance and then moving them from break fix to maintenance to manage services. So if you're in the community, just go to the classes section and download that. It's moving from break fix to managed services. The April mini class is now scheduled and you can sign up for that. Again, if you're not in the community, it's $99. Go to uh, the community, click on the what's new and you will uh, see the link for it. If you are in the community, there's no charge for it. All you have to do is go access the class. The Download materials for the first week will be available soon. That class starts April 10th. So make sure you check us out. You have to register for the Zoom portion. So make sure that you do that so that you're all ready to go on April 10th, which is a Wednesday. Remember our community meeting is on the final Friday of every month. So please join us for that. Basically, I make a little bit of a presentation, do some announcements and then answer questions from everybody. If you have a question that you would like me to answer in the live community meeting on the final Friday of the month, just send me an email. And if, if you can put something in the subject line so that Kara or um, I can find it, that would be spectacular. Then, then I'll make sure that those get printed out and answered with the, the first questions for the community meeting. We had a really good community meeting last time. Uh, I had some questions about calculating the exact billability of technicians. And one of the members put in some suggestions and so I have posted up his spreadsheet and my spreadsheet. So I put together an Excel spreadsheet about it. The basic question is, what should you expect from a technician? For example, if a technician makes $45,000 a year, should you, can you realistically expect them to bring in 90,000 in top line revenue? And we talk about exactly what it takes to do that. Very interesting point is that it takes almost exactly 60% billability. And I have always said, hey, guess what? You should expect about 66% billability or more from your technicians. So anyway, it's just kind of interesting. All those spreadsheets are now in the community. Go to the what's new section and you'll find them. Uh, you could also go to the Excel section and, and you'll find them because they're both Excel spreadsheets. We also did, somebody asked me for a chart of accounts for QuickBooks. And I looked and I was like, hey, you know, I've talked about this many times. I don't think I've ever published an actual chart of accounts. So I put together my chart of accounts, put it into an Excel format. And so you can download that. I highly encourage you to talk to Rayanne Buccianico if you have any questions about your chart of accounts. Uh, she's in the community forums and she loves <laughs> talking about this stuff. So if you have any questions or if you think what I put together is just plain silly, then by all means, uh, run it by Rayanne. 
she teaches our classes on QuickBooks and related things. So if she has any input for you, please uh, take her advice because she is the genius. Uh, among other people, I pay her to take care of a um, piece of my finances every month. So I highly endorse her and, uh, you know, I'm happy to give you my chart of accounts, but also take a look at hers as well. This month's final Friday meeting is going to be April 26th. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you put it on your calendar. Again, we're going to have an announcement about that in the newsletter. If you are not a member of the community, you might be able to see this video. But if you are a member of the community, you get a newsletter that is not available to anybody else. So it will have specific dates for these things and discount codes and whatever. Those are members only items there in the newsletter. So if you're a member of the community, make sure you don't take yourself off that newsletter list. Just saying. Update on the break room. So the break room is a place where I've been posting public domain movies and uh, cartoons and that sort of thing. Uh, I love some of the TV shows. I just put up the uh, A Bugs Bunny cartoon that I really enjoy. This week or this month I also put up uh, one of my favorite Abbott and Costello movies which for whatever reason is in the public domain. I believe this is one that the first time it was in theaters they did not have a copyright on the film and so it was broadcast to the public without a copyright. So, you know, it's always interesting to me how things get into the copyright or into the public domain. Uh, but this is one that did make it into the public domain and it's a, it's a funny movie. So anyway, check it out. I would like your feedback. If you never go to the break room, if you think it's stupid, I want to know that. If there's other stuff that you want to see there, let me know that as well. You know, I can put this stuff up for my entertainment, but if you're not getting anything out of it, then let's go ahead and see what we can do to give you value in the community. And that goes for everything else in the community as well. Another thing we've added in March was a bunch of audio programs. So, you know, we had this meeting at the beginning of March in Atlanta and we had some spectacular content. I mean, I do have to say the, the content that day was over the top and I appreciate the community members who were there and the people who were not community members who paid to be there as well. So now we're getting those audio programs posted up. So I've got Amy's is up, mine is up, uh, Jennifer Fields is up. So we're gonna be putting the rest of those up in April, but basically those are um, great content in audio format with the slide decks. So you can access all of those and we're gradually putting all of those into the community. So uh, please go educate yourself, download those slide decks and get some value out of it. Amy's was on the technology, the tech skills that you're going to need in the decade ahead. And Jennifer's was on marketing tips that are truly useful. So, you know, she goes into a lot of detail with the, the marketing of how you can do some of this stuff yourself and you don't have to hire an outside pro if you don't have the resources for it. She also gives you some very accurate information about what you can expect to spend and what you can expect to get for it. So check those things out. And once again, I really want your feedback about how things are going in the community. In particular, I will also say the forums have not been very well used. So I know that part of it is we have to get the critical mass, but part of it is also people need to go in there and put in questions. I try whenever anybody posts a question to answer it as quickly as I can. So I would like to get some more interaction there if that's possible. Again, if that's not where you see the value, please let me know that. Just send me a note and uh, you know, I will try to worry about the things that you care about. I want a lot of this to be about content, but I also want to build the community as well. And finally, the big announcement for April, ta-da! I'm going to have cloud services in a month done this month. So with luck, by our final Friday meeting of the month, I will have a PDF download for you. If not, I promise by the end of the month it will be out there. I have been writing and writing and writing and so I'm just about to turn it over to editors and proofreaders. And there's an opportunity for you 
in the community. If you're a member of the Small Biz Thoughts community and you would like to be an official proofreader of this content, all you got to do is read the book, which I'm hoping you're going to do anyway. But basically, you send me a note and say that you want to be a proofreader and I will send you the current PDF version of the book. And basically, what I'd like you to do is read through it. If you find something that you know is completely inaccurate, send me a note. But more importantly, if you find a typo, if a word is misspelled, if a word is repeated, you know, basic proofreading kind of stuff, please send me notes on that. And, you know, we're, we'll collect all of those so that the, the final edition is as good as possible. I am hiring an editor and I am hiring a proofreader, but if you want to contribute to the process, I would really seriously appreciate it. And it means that you get early access to the book and all of the downloads. Remember, as a member of the Small Biz Thoughts community, you get the book for free. So don't plan on buying the book, at least not in electronic format, because you're going to get it for free. And finally, just a few notes about our friends in the community. In case you haven't seen it, you should check out SMB Tech Fest. One of our community leaders, Mr. Dave Seibert, puts on SMB Tech Fest every quarter in Anaheim. And it's also available online. So that's coming up April 18th. So go ahead and check that out. If you can't make it live, you can always attend online. Just go to smbtechfest.com. Also, Lori Tishnai, who is one of our community leaders, is putting on something called ITO Compass, IT Owners Compass. It's in Chicago, April 27th and 28th, with a cocktail party on the 26th. So please join us there. It will be amazing and spectacular, and I think you're going to have a great time. So please join us in Chicago uh, at the end of April. ITOCompass.com. Join us at SMB Tech Fest, SMBTechFest.com. And check out everything that's new in the community. I promise there's new stuff all the time. And I think you're going to love the new class on setting up your client onboarding process. Stay tuned for that. Read my newsletter. So this video comes out at the same time as the newsletter. Go ahead and read the newsletter. It'll have some of these announcements and a few more details. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next month, and I'll see you online in the community.